Welcome back to Middle Earth. I'm Salty Kerr, and this is our playthrough from the beginning to the end of Lord of the Rings Online. So, let's continue where we left off. We are talking to Eladan to continue our introduction to find out about this Scorgrim fellow. You have a true warrior's heart. I do. I do have a true warrior's heart. Learning the ways of the hunter throughout your life is not an easy feat, but it is rewarding. Indeed. I will give Dora Loss's theory a second chance, since we are here. Merethrin is not unconvinced either. We should investigate the ruins of Hedalion, the place where Scorgrim fell, to ensure that he is still dead. You were there to watch him die, Corsalian, were you not? If Scorgrim's grave is undisturbed, then the mystery will be even greater. Alright, back to... Back to Dorniel. I swore Dorniel was over here. She is not. I, maybe I've not yet talked to Dorian. Okay. Um, I am going to access the Lotro store uh, and um, be adding run speed buffs and ride speed buffs. The one huge uh, problem with this game is they have not addressed how slow the characters run. So I'm going to access the Lotro store. I have Lotro points. Need to block that out. Um, So I'll put on some run speed buffs. I'm going to get a whole bunch of them. Because um, I'll be using them a lot. Um, I'm not going to really worry about these other things. Combat run speed boost. Uh, might be helpful at some point, but but probably not. Um, so I'm going to pick up about 50 of these. Uh, just to get started on the right foot, so to speak. And then I'm also going to get uh, melt speed buffs as well. And I'm going to get about 50 of those. I think I already have that. Um, I don't know why it's offering that to me. check my passives here. Now I always put my uh, did uh, did I I could have sworn I got mount speed. Didn't I just get mount speed buffs? I could have a hundred of those things now. Nope, I got I, I, I got the same thing. Uh, run speed. Um. Hmm. All right, let us look under uh, travel. Um. Is this no more a thing? Oh, these are all the mounts. Um, buffs and services. Let's try there. Movement buffs. Did they take those out of the game? Because that... That sucks.
Hmm. Let me see here. Uh, worst in character traits. Let's just look at my notes again. Maybe it applies to mounts, or maybe I have to actually have a mount before it'll show that to me. That's probably what it is. And can I stack these, or are they within 50s? Okay. Alright, so let's hit that. And continuing swiftness, which gives us this. And I need this to disappear, so I'm going to uh, hit my options. get rid of this and I never remember where it was uh, general
Okay, we're back. I figured out the buff bars situation on the slider, so we're back at it. Might as well use a candle. Now you'll see it slid a little bit uh, when I'm running. Um, I will end up sliding things accidentally off the bars. Alright, so we got plus one hope. I don't need to be seeing that, so we're we'll blacklist that, but it's still up here, so you can always see what buffs and debuffs you have on your character. Here's Dorniel. And I'm going to go through... This is... Let's talk. Let's, let's just talk for a moment. Um, our adventure here is to capture this game in a way that is representative of the craft and care that they've made this story and the stories in this game. So we'll be reading quite a bit of the quest's uh, dialogue just to uh, experience the story. I'm not in any hurry here to get to level 120. Um, I'm in this for the long haul. Uh, so we're going to experience the story. If you're uh, not interested in the story, feel free to use your scroll bar at the bottom and uh, scroll past the dialogue boxes when they come up. But I'm going to be reading a lot of them. So um, uh, I just really want to, like I said, in my first video, I really want to just memorialize what makes this game uh, so great, and it's its story and its rich lore um, is is what keeps bringing me back to the game. So um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, games like this don't really come along uh, anymore. Uh, they're a bunch of uh, typically, you know, slash and shoot and uh, you know, and I'm all for that too. I'm, I'm a pretty consistent gamer, um, but this game allows me to slow down, uh, escape from uh, the, the, you know, the draws of life that are that are tough, and um, just immerse yourself in a world and a story um, that is uh, that is really great. I do not think I have the will to go back into that place. I am lucky to be alive after the injuries I bore the day an alien fell. I I do not think I have the will to go back into that place. It is only a shadow of its former glory now. Only pain remains. Okay, so we have to find a Nathriel to talk to her about her memories. The arrow will tell us the direction when it's off our compass. If we look here, if you highlight over the quest that you're doing, the ring or the region that the quest is being fulfilled in will flash. Sometimes they're hard to see, like in this one. I knew we were heading this direction, so I knew where to look. But sometimes you'll be looking at the map, you'll be looking all over for the rings, and you can't find them. Um, because the colors and the backgrounds blend into the backgrounds of the map. Alright, so let's head out. I was here when Ephelion fell. I was a healer, but my strength in mending was not enough to mend the hurts caused by Skorgrim and his Dourhand warriors. I cannot return here without great sadness in my heart. It was such a needless war. He sought immortality in the relics we kept here, but found only death. Talk to Dorongul about his memory of Skorgrim's death. Okay up there. So I think we have to go around. So you see the quest ring shows up. If you hover over the ring, it will tell you 
who the ring is or what is there. How can I be of service? It was across the bridge that brave Talagan brought the library's walls down upon Skorgrim and himself, thus putting an end to Skorgrim's lust for immortality. The walls smote them both as they crumbled. And that is a strange flower, one that I've never seen before. Is it familiar to you, Elf? Will, will you lend me a ear? Okay, we grabbed another level. It's introducing us to the Lotro store, so that we can buy all kinds of stuff. Uh, should we choose? I'm going to move this. This is more like a food item. Typically I have my food items over here. And this is where I slot my more, um, Athos, which is morale potions and power potions. So you'll see up here the green bar is our morale. That's basically our hit points. And the blue bar is how much power we have. Um, that would be like mana in other games. Okay. Defeat pests as you seek Scorpion's body. Alright. We're headed over there. So once we grab a horse... Uh, the running will go a lot faster. I don't know if I can go this way. Yes, this is the way out. And eventually the hunter comes with uh, the, you know, run speed uh, buffs. That's 15%, which will help a lot too. But as we're running through the landscape, we can just kind of enjoy the care they put. And we're going down there. We could jump, but we might actually die. I remember playing through this on the beta 12 years ago and uh, running down this hill uh, that we're coming to is pretty much, um, you know, engraved. Uh, on my mind. It is with nostalgia today, however. When I started this game in 2012, the number of people that were running around here uh, was, was astonishing. Now, not so much. People have moved on to fancier graphics, quicker pace, and there is something to be said for that. Um, as I said before, I, I, uh, I love those games too. Um, but I do want to capture this before it's gone. I think this is where I'm supposed to go, yeah. Let's get rid of him. Okay, here's my trap. I can trap things as a hunter. So for right now, I'm going to put that over there. As I say, I've got, I've got spaces figured out for as we build our game. You can see the puzzle fall into place. The barbed arrow puts a bleed that you see here. Uh, so you hit for your common damage, then 27 damage every 2 seconds for 12 seconds, and reduces the target's run speed. 
So whatever 6 times 27 is, add that on to your first initial hit. stay until you move and then they start to decline one by one so here as I as I shoot this guy I'm gonna jump up one and that'll allow me to use my penetration so some skills require more focus points to fire than others um, incidentally uh, it will fill in dungeons as you go through the dungeons. Um, on the map, it will not place rings in the dungeon, so you're meant to meant to be exploring. So I guess it is going to put everything. Advanced. Now I've got to collect one of these strange flowers. Just right click. Okay, so I'm going to place the flower into a quest location. Bring the od odious red flower to Aladan.
That is a vile little flower, and one I have not seen before. You say it grew where Skorgrim died, and where his body lay in death for all these years. Such magic is not common with dwarves. His body has been moved, though we do not know where. It seems the flowers follow him in death. Perhaps they will lead to his new grave. Alright, let's grab some shoes. Red flower is speeding a, a trail of, of blood time. through the snow. A trail, Cursalia. The red flower is leading a trail. Through the snow. Do you think these are footprints of blood? Blood red footsteps upon the snow colored black where the Dower King walks to take back his throne and finish what was begun. We have black snow and the body of the Dower King has been moved, leaving the fell flowers as footprints. Something evil is at work here, and I'm sure something evil was at work when he sought our relics for immortality. We must follow him again. My brother is scouting for the signs as well. Seek him as you search. All right. Okay, this is probably a good place to wrap up for the day. It's been about 30 minutes. So thanks for stopping in, and we will see you next time for more Lord of the Rings Online.